exactly what you're saying, tracking the progress. And I looked up okay. journal, you know, like journalists. And so in 2013, the one of the most important books that any of y'all need. We define Rastafari for the Rastafari movement. It's much deeper than the image or accessories of dreadlocks or red, gold, and green, smoking ganja, smoking herb. Although this brethren, Wyndham Yadin of the Line of Judah Society, breaks this down in accuracy. So I encourage people to check out LOJ Society, Ethiopian World Net, also. Uh, Rastafari Sabbatical on YouTube, his most recent up-to-date uh, YouTube channel. Rastafari Sabbatical. Yes, yeah, so just also check out this brethren from uh, a different YouTube page. Words Sound and Power Manifest. Alright. How excellent is thy name, thou hast set thy glory above the heavens. Love and honors and respect to all, including the all. Who is Jesus Christ? We have other now, um, brethren, very similar but different doctrines and interpretations, but we're all about the one love vibration, uh, you know, one job. His Majesty answered that question, one kingdom. he was asked that question many but different times, and he always Rastafari answered that he is not, not just Christ. about so called dreadlocks or long hair. In that manner, and that's because he is not Christ. Highly of course, nowadays, from the beginning, the true Rastafari movement is a way of life. It's always been about that one love vibration for all people, one race, all so called races of Yah's kingdom upon this earth. Original dreadlock Rasta, original Hebrew Israelite, black, white, brown, yellow, and the image of the dreadlocks of those true Rastafari today is relevant to those who are true to the teachings of His Imperial Majesty and His Christ. Those who glory in the Bible. The true teachings of the Most High God were the original dreadlock, Hebrew Israelite, or Ethiopian Hebrew, the little white lion, black, white, brown, yellow. It's one race. It's true spiritual Israel in these last days. Regardless of the different mansions of Rastafari, very similar but different interpretations and small details, regardless of so-called skin color or race, we are spiritual Israelites, the true body of Moshiach, the King of Kings and His Christ, we love. So spiritual locks have its relevant connection with the Nazarite vow and the lion's mane. However, this 21st century, these boundaries have been broken down, these, these walls have divided, been broken down. The image of so called long hair and dreadlocks become universal to those who have long hair and no locks at all because the true locks are spiritual. The true conception of the heart and the Rastafari. I love, I bless. See, true Rastafari, I know this of all so called race and skin colors. Of one race, but first, to the original Ethiopian Hebrew, then to the Gentile. Just like in the early messianic apostles and first century Christians. I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of Ha Elohim, the Hila of Exiabihe for salvation to everyone who has faith. To the Jew first, the Ethiopian Hebrew, and also to the Greek. For in it the righteousness of Ha Elohim is revealed through faith, for faith, as it is written, 
The one who is righteous will live by faith. Side. Rastafarianism! <laughs> yes, I now we're taking this to a whole different platform. <laughs> Most of y'all uh, have seen this before, at least once or twice in the past five or six years. Um, some uh, SNL sketch, I think it was, this uh, young actor. And uh, <laughs> we all get the sketch, we all get the joke. And it's funny, There's no doubt this whole sketch is quite humorous. There's a lot of phonies out there that, of all races, of all so-called races and gender, that try to sneak into Rastafari and, and become imposters, you know, so-called Rasta imposters. A lot of the first ones came from the Jam Rock, the same original source of which true Rastafari movement also sprang from, so you can't get fooled by so-called uh, image of race or image of long hair or dreadlocks. You know, this we get the whole joke of this sketch. He's got a <laughs> he's got a video of who cool runnings. He's uh, smoking out of a sprite can. A very uh, generic. <laughs> notice it at the very beginning of this video or this sketch he says Rastafarianism so obviously yeah there's a lot of people who use the so-called term uh, Rastafarianism and true Rastafari or true Rastafarians uh, deny that that terminology of ism and schisms however this particular sketch is kind of like a double-sided coin in my personal opinion because although we get the joke and you know it's about phonies that try to come in and, and perpetrate the image and the whole culture and the true movement of, of Rastafari as a way of life but <laughs> it also for those who don't know the true message of Rastafari can be somewhat harmful to those of a certain stereotype or so-called uh, youth of, of the white race the so-called Gentiles of flesh and blood like myself that may be caught up in modern pseudo hippieism and dabble with some Bob Marley, maybe some Sublime and Peter Tosh, maybe some Modest Yahoo, and then they see a sketch like this and, and realize, okay, well, I don't want to go too deep into Rastafari or Rastafarianism. I know it has something to do with the combination of Judaism and Christianity and Ethiopia and. You know, I'll still listen to Bob Marley, but uh, they don't really, you know, they think that they're perpetrating some culture because they might be of a so-called skin color or race, and they, they feel like they don't want to, you know, leave modern pseudo-hippieism and, and, and dive too much into, or read too much into uh, Rastafari as a way of life, the true interpretation of the Holy Bible, the Book of Life, that comes from original Judeo-Christianity, from the it's Ethiopian Orthodox origin but we you know we obviously get this particular sketch it's a joke it's about somebody who's perpetrating and he's a joke you know he's not reading too much into the true message or teachings he's like people of all races even a lot of so-called uh, black uh, so-called Rastas that get caught up in Rastaisms you know so-called white Rastas you know, they get caught up in more the ism and schisms and the accessories of Rastafari stereotype more than the true teachings of his imperial majesty. So, I just want to put that out there. Like, don't let the world system confuse you from the truth. Doing so we're going to keep it real God in, in the, the true king of kings and his and Christ. It puts Take upon the new name and reject his teachings. Dealing with who and what? Is Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, Moa Ambesa Zem, Negeda Yehuda, Seyuma, Igaziabiher, Negus, and Negeza, Ethiopia. Right? It's good for the world to see, and how to extend the courtesies. Remember, love is for you and me, and never waste opportunity. Why mankind so unjust in this time? 